Um, I knew him before he was um, Diddy. And I knew him for a long time. When I, when I first became champ, I knew him. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. Diddy's world is ablaze as lawsuits blaze a trail of scandal through the music industry. Allegations of misconduct towards artists are just the tip of the iceberg. But hold on tight because the plot thickens with leaked footage purportedly involving Diddy, Meek Mill, and a star-studded guest list. And guess who's throwing a knockout punch into this drama? None other than boxing legend Mike Tyson stepping into the ring with a strong message for Diddy. Brooklyn. I'm the first of our of our generation of that kind of that crew. You know the, mm. the street hustlers that really blew up like that. And you guys all knew each other. Yeah, it's the same era. But before we dive into Tyson's stance, let's dissect Diddy's legal labyrinth and uncover the explosive leaked footage that sent shockwaves through the industry. Diddy's world might have seemed like a glittering oasis of success and opulence, but beneath the surface lurked a darkness that few dared to confront. The allegations brought forth by his ex, Kessie, pierced through the facade, revealing a harrowing tale of abuse and manipulation. New lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, bringing some serious claims against the music mogul. In November 2023, Kessie filed a lawsuit against Diddy in New York, accusing him of unspeakable crimes. According to her complaint, she endured a decade-long nightmare of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking. The details are chilling. From a 2018 sexual assault incident to instances of domestic violence, Kessie painted a picture of torment and despair. Post yesterday all over our social media pages, Cassie filed a lawsuit in New York City against Diddy. Yikes. She's claiming she was stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse. But her allegations weren't isolated. They echoed the voices of other women who dared to step forward. One woman, Joey Dickerson. Neil recounted a horrifying ordeal dating back to 1991, alleging that Diddy incapacitated and sexually assaulted her during her college years. Another anonymous accuser, referred to as Jane Doe, described a nightmarish scenario where she was allegedly trafficked and assaulted when she was underage. Her attorneys are pointing out the fact that she has actual photos in the studio. So placing her there in the studio, one of the photos she's actually sitting on Diddy's lap. The pattern is disturbingly clear, a recurring motif of abuse and exploitation shattering the illusion of Diddy's glamorous empire. Each claim, each accusation adds another layer to the sinister narrative, revealing a man consumed by power and devoid of empathy. Do you believe Diddy is a dangerous person? Yes, I do. But amidst the storm of allegations, Diddy remained defiant. Enough is enough, he declared in a statement, vehemently denying the accusations leveled against him. His words reverberated through the industry, a rallying cry in the face of mounting scrutiny. Yet, for many, the truth remains elusive. As the legal battles rage on and more voices join the chorus of dissent, one thing becomes painfully clear. This is not just about Diddy. It's about confronting the dark underbelly of an industry built on fame and fortune, where the powerful prey on the vulnerable with impunity. Big moves! Enter Mike Tyson, a man who knows a thing or two about redemption and the seedy underbelly of celebrity culture. Tyson, the former undisputed heavyweight world champion, has been through his fair share of controversies, including a highly publicized sexual assault conviction in the 1990s. But despite his tumultuous past, Tyson has undergone a transformation, embracing fatherhood and seeking to leave behind the demons of his youth. In an exclusive interview with AT, Tyson reflected on his journey of personal growth, acknowledging the profound impact fatherhood has had on him. I have a daughter. I can't be who I used to be. You know, things have to change, he confessed, his words echoing with sincerity and introspection. But while Tyson has embarked on a path of redemption, his disdain for figures like Diddy, whom he sees as emblematic of the industry's corruption, remains palpable. Is there anything you uh, have opinions on Diddy? Have you had any experiences with Diddy? In a recent podcast appearance, Tyson offered a glimpse into his complicated relationship with the music mogul, whom he knew long before the glitz and glamour of fame took hold. I remember him. He used to have crates when he was at my after parties and stuff. Also, when they were throwing parties, Tyson remissed, casting a light on their shared history before the world knew them as icons in their respective fields. Yet, despite their past camaraderie, Tyson's sentiments towards Diddy are laced with a sense of disillusionment and disappointment. So many people in music and Hollywood feared this guy, Diddy, as if he's untouchable, remarked the podcast host, Patrick Bett. David prompting Tyson to offer a cryptic response. Oh, sugar Diddy. In the same breath, Tyson painted a picture of Diddy as an awesome guy, but stopped short of absolving him of the controversies that have dogged his career. When pressed further about his opinions on Diddy's involvement in alleged scandals, Tyson remained tight-lipped, perhaps hinting at a deeper, unspoken truth lurking beneath the surface. 
But while Tyson's criticisms of Diddy may be rooted in personal experience and observation, it's essential to recognize the complexities of his own narrative. Accusations of sexual assault have shadowed Tyson throughout his life, including a recent lawsuit filed by an anonymous woman alleging that she was violently assaulted by the boxing legend in the 1990s. The parallels between Tyson and Diddy are striking, both men grappling with the ghosts of their past while navigating the unforgiving terrain of public scrutiny. Yet for Tyson, fatherhood has served as a beacon of hope, a reminder that change is possible even in the face of adversity. But amidst the chaos and controversy, one thing remains clear. The wheels of justice are turning, and no amount of fame or fortune can shield those who prey on the vulnerable from facing the consequences of their actions. And for Diddy, the clock may be ticking, his fate hanging in the balance as the truth slowly but surely comes to light. Mm-hmm. I'm going to fight for my reputation. I'm going to fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. As the storm surrounding Diddy intensifies, a new lawsuit has emerged, further complicating the mogul's already tumultuous legal battles. Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a producer who worked closely with Diddy, has filed a $30 million civil suit against the hip-hop icon, alleging a litany of disturbing accusations that echo the claims made by previous plaintiffs. In his 70-page filing submitted in the Southern District of New York, Jones paints a harrowing picture of his time with Diddy, alleging instances of sexual misconduct, physical abuse, and a culture of intimidation and a manipulation. Similar to previous accusers, Jones describes a pattern of behavior indicative of a larger issue within Diddy's inner circle. Uh, this is just crazy. Just read, read. One of the most shocking revelations from Jones's lawsuit is the claim that Diddy boasted about engaging in sexual activities with prominent figures in the music industry, including Meek Mill and Usher. While these claims have sparked controversy and speculation, it's essential to approach them with caution, considering the sensational nature of the allegations and the potential for misinformation. Meek Mill, one of the artists implicated in Jones' accusations, has vehemently denied any involvement in the alleged misconduct. Taking to social media, Meek addressed the rumors head-on, asserting his heterosexuality and dismissing the claims as baseless. However, his response only served to fuel the fire of gossip and speculation, igniting a flurry of online debates and discussions. He's a dope rapper, but I think sometimes Meek falls victim to, I have to explain myself because they, yeah. tr- they be playing with my name. Yeah. And, and the more he responds, the more they... However, Meek Mill's response didn't quell the growing storm of controversy surrounding Diddy and his alleged involvement in misconduct. While Meek staunchly denied any wrongdoing, the spotlight now shifts to another prominent figure in the music industry, you. In a resurfaced interview, Usher opened up about his time staying with Diddy when he was underage. The revelations shed new light on the dynamics between Usher and the hip-hop mogul. In an interview with Rolling Stone, Usher delved into the experiences he encountered during his stay at Diddy's residence, dubbing it Flavor Camp. I didn't say that. Okay. I I didn't say that. (laughs) What I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, Uh and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh. He vividly described a world of excess and indulgence, where sex was a prevalent theme. Sex is so hot in the industry, man, Usher remarked, recounting instances of witnessing intimate encounters within Diddy's circle. These revelations not only paint a picture of a hedonistic lifestyle, but also raise questions about the influence and environment that young artists like Usher were exposed to under Diddy's wing. Years later, during an appearance on The Howard Stern Show, Usher revisited his memories at Diddy's home, describing it as pretty wild and filled with very curious things. However, he expressed uncertainty about fully comprehending the scene at the time, emphasizing his youth and naivety. Stevie J, the Usher part, that, that's a touchy situation, man. Fast forward to the present, and these resurfaced interviews have ignited a fresh wave of scrutiny surrounding Diddy's conduct. Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard, added fuel to the fire with shocking accusations about Usher's relationship with the mogul. Deal alleged that Usher was groomed by Diddy, pointing to incidents that he claimed to have witnessed firsthand. Now, I'll let Usher explain that to y'all. I'll let Usher tell that story. Deal stated cryptically, alluding to undisclosed events that reportedly led Usher to the hospital during his time with Diddy. Puff and Usher did have a situation, and that situation led Usher to the hospital. Dale's revelations underscore the complexities of power dynamics within the music industry and raise troubling questions about the treatment of young artists under influential figures like Diddy. The resurfacing of these interviews and allegations has thrust Usher back into the spotlight, prompting renewed interest in his relationship with Diddy and the events that transpired during his formative years in the industry. As speculation swirls and scrutiny intensifies, one thing is clear. The web of controversy surrounding Diddy's empire continues to unravel, revealing deeper layers of intrigue and speculation. But just when you thought the plot couldn't thicken any further, federal officials have turned up the heat on Diddy's world. Reports have emerged of a startling development. The homes of Sean Diddy Combs have been searched by Homeland Security officials as part of an ongoing investigation. Actually, the first ones here with about 30 
different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say. Sources close to the matter reveal that phones were seized from Combs in Miami before he was set to embark on a trip to embark on a trip to the Bahamas, adding a new layer of urgency and intrigue to the unfolding drama. That clearly there is a criminal investigation underway and that they believe that there would be evidence of crimes in one or both of these homes. But the saga doesn't end there. Insider sources are now reporting that the judge overseeing Diddy's case may issue an arrest warrant as early as this week, sending shockwaves through the industry and casting a shadow over the mogul's once glittering empire. With the specter of imminent arrest looming over him, Diddy finds himself teetering on the brink of a precipice, his fate hanging in the balance as the wheels of justice continue to turn. As we brace ourselves for the next explosive chapter in Diddy's saga, we invite you to join the conversation. What are your thoughts on the latest developments? Do you believe justice will prevail or are there more twists and turns yet to come? Leave your comments below and let your voice be heard. Until next time, stay tuned for more updates on the ever unfolding drama in the world of celebrity 